Today we are talking about kindness. It doesn't cost a thing to be kind to people. God wants us to be kind to everyone, not just those who are nice or the people who agree with us. God gives us the gift of kindness through the Holy Spirit. The more we interact with God, the more we see the fruit of the Spirit come out of us. The Holy Spirit is the part of God that lives inside of all of us. God will remind you of things when you need them. He'll give you opportunities to be kind to people who need some kindness in their day. He'll put feelings inside you that make you feel like you should call someone and say hi or get together with a friend you haven't seen in a while. But God won't force you to do these things. He wants you to choose to do them when he puts them in your mind. If you follow the Holy Spirit's thoughts and guidance, you will find yourself being kinder to people around you. Today's Bible story is about a woman named Naomi. Naomi was a widow. Her husband had passed away. Naomi had two sons who got married and lived near Naomi. But later in life, the sons passed away and their wives, Ruth and Orpah, still lived near Naomi. Naomi called her son's wives and told them, I am going to go back to where I used to live and I would like you also to go back to your families where you used to live. May God show you kindness as you have showed me. All the women cried and hugged each other because they were such good friends. Orpah didn't want to leave Naomi, but Naomi told her not to worry. She would be fine. So Orpah went back to her family. But Ruth would not leave. Don't ask me to leave. Where you go, I will go. And where you stay, I will stay. Your friends will be my friends and your God will be my God. Ruth and Naomi returned to Bethlehem together. Ruth never complained about moving far away or not returning to her family. She was always kind to Naomi. She wasn't expecting anything in return. She just wanted to help and show kindness to her friend. When they got there, Ruth went to work in the wheat fields, picking up wheat that they had dropped behind. The owner of the field came by and noticed how hard Ruth was working in the field. Lucky for Ruth, the owner of the field was Boaz. He was a kind man who believed in God. He had also been related to Naomi's husband that had passed away. Boaz went to Ruth and said, Don't go work in any other field, but stay here with the other servant girls. I will make sure you are safe, and whenever you are thirsty, go and get a drink from the water jars. When Ruth heard this, she bowed down to Boaz and asked, Why are you being so kind to me? I'm not even from here. Boaz replied, I know what you've done for Naomi. You left your family and moved to a place you've never been. May the Lord reward you for your kindness. Ruth thanked Boaz and continued with her work in the hot sun. Boaz even ordered his workers to drop extra wheat so Ruth could have more for herself. Ruth took all the wheat home and shared what she had with Naomi. Eventually, Ruth married Boaz and everyone was very happy. From this story, we learn that kindness matters. It pleases God when we choose to treat people with kindness. Here are three take-home tips to help you show kindness to others. Take one, choose to be kind. Take two, think about God's kindness. Take three, look for ways to overcome unkindness. Remember, treat others the way you want to be treated. We'll see you next week. Thank you.